hi to Chaco. So, we have this beautiful game, guys. Do we see a Warden? Do we see a Demon Hunter? Do we see a Alchemist first? No. No Alchemist first, because then uh, you do a different build order. You don't build this altar this early. He builds an altar early in Moonwall, so he's going for like a normal hero. Maybe a Keeper. He's been playing some Keeper Huntresses. Although, with this Ancient War, I don't think it's going to be the Keeper. But he's been playing some Keeper Huntresses into Fairy Dragon uh, BS. But I don't think he's going to do that this game. Here we get a hero soon after this uh, this building goes up. This one. That's Death Knight. No surprise. That's a Demon Hunter. I mean, no surprise, really. Nice. Nice. Isn't that nice? This guy built some more Wisps. There's another Wisp. In the tree. The Wisp is in the tree. Just uh, hanging out in the... Oh, he's done hanging out in the tree. He's building a moon wall. How nice. Yeah, that's nice. There's Demon Hunter. There's some more archers. How much for you to be a hitman and ban a certain user of your of our choice? Uh, I, I don't have an incentive for that. So, you know. <laughs> there's Ancient War. He eats the tree. This Ogre Warrior taking a lot of damage. This Ogre Warrior is slowly going down, guys. Here comes the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is out. This Ogre Warrior is dead. We have a nice circlet on the Demon Hunter. This uh, Forestal Trapper is going down. This Forestal Trapper is very low on hit points. He's dead. And what did he just build here in Cancel here? Oh, he, he wanted another Wisp. So he built an uh, Ancient. Cancelled it. So he could build his Wisp. And now he has the Moonwall up. So he can build his other Wisp as well. So it must have been a shop, I guess. Because if you cancel a shop, it's the cheapest. You lose the least uh, resources. Two Great Reavers just killing this Trapper. War, war. He's just killing everything. Ring of protection, not amazing. Demon Dragon going for this forceful high priest. That's nice. He's going down. He's dead. Wand of illusion, guys. Wand of illusion. Death Knight here going for the Murlocs. This Murloc. This Murloc Nightcrawler, guys. Taking so much damage. He's dead. And there is a Cloak of Shadows. Demon Hunter shows up. Death Knight level 2. Painkiller level 2. Oh, Demon Hunter gets surrounded. And I was saying, I was just talking about this last game. It's just standard, guys. You just get your Demon Hunter surrounded the early game. He will TP out. He kills two skeletons. There's a coil. He dodges his coil at least. Sure. And he's at home. There's some ghouls. No graveyard yet, guys. Not yet. I don't, don't know what the exact timing is on the graveyard, but. I don't see it yet. Oh, he's, he's just tacking now to the necropolis, uh, to uh, the other thing. Halls of the Dead. The hunter are gonna buy some stuff, some boots. Just a standard. How many archers do we have? I see one archer over there. I see three archers over there. I see a wisp even. Pretty nice. A player's forces are under attack. Player forces are under attack. Oh, he didn't buy the staff. Only the boots. He's just confident that he doesn't get surrounded again with the boots. Of course, earlier he didn't have the boots. It was uh, a different story, guys. There goes the Ogre Magi. Ankh for Death Knight means, uh, you know, he can sell the item. A nice 225 gold, I believe. Demon finds the Acolyte. Look at them selling this item immediately. So nice. Go for the Ogre Magi. Demon Hunter is on his way. Can he get the mana burn? Can he kill the Ogre Magi with the mana burn? He has 235 XP, guys. His Death Knight has 348. And the mana burn on the Death Knight is out of mana. And the Ogre Ogre's still alive. The ghoul goes down. Did he get the XP? Uh, yes. He went from 235 to 275. The Archer got the XP. The Demon Hunter wants his uh, ghoul. But he doesn't get the ghoul. He does not get the ghoul. Graveyard going up. Ziggurat going up. Ghoul's going up. Death Knight. Over there. With the skeletons. Mana burn for 48 on Duke Rage Reaver. There's Naga. Is that correct? No, Naga is for foggy guys. Let me just fix it in the overlay. In a, right now. Right now. Here we go. There we go. There. No, set heroes. Perfect. Okay. Uh oh, Archer. Nice hit here on the Death Knight. So, uh, Happy is almost at tier 2. This Death Knight, 24 mana. Mana burns are not going to be worth it right now. 
at least not for a little bit there's the graveyard the graveyard is up as soon as tier 2 is up okay so that's the timing for the graveyard here it's just like the hunter's hole exactly the same ancient of lords are going up and then he goes to black citadel and he's building a slaughterhouse here it is Demon Hunter is gets gets the Ogre Magi. Scroll of the Beast. Not amazing in this matchup since you have double Ancient of Lore, you're going bears, triads, triads that don't take the roar. Even though this is an item and not the, not magic, right? Like the roar. It's funny that the, ma the magic immune units don't get the scroll of the beast. But uh, yeah, he sells it of course and he gets a potion of greater healing. This death knight over here is killing some units over there. Do you think that Foggy is afraid of Happy and that he that's why he has a disadvantage? Uh, mm, no, no, maybe, I don't know. I think Foggy's just bad in this matchup, it's the worst matchup. We've seen him play against other undeads as well. At the, uh, he, it's just a bad matchup, he doesn't play it right. He plays, yeah, we see him here, Naga, hello Naga. If you go Naga. I feel like you need to do so much damage with the Naga for it to be worth it over the Panda and that wasn't the case here right the Naga did like no damage he's now so far behind already Foggy's already so far behind and probably Foggy doesn't even realize it he thinks like oh you just go Naga and you just do stuff no you don't just go Naga and do stuff okay early expansion a bit early but not super early actually yeah, it's like a few seconds earlier than the standard. Uh, Demon Hunter and the Naga here going for this rock column. That's nice. Not your bro pal. Demon Hunter is killing this troll. He got a uh, nice rope of the Magi. Nice for the Naga. Over here we have a Lich second with the Flute of Accuracy. The Wisp goes down. And look at this day demon hunter here's mr demon hunter he's actually an illusion but we didn't know this happy knows this because he just went poof there's a statue there's a statue there's cool frenzy players forces are under okay players forces are under attack definitely level three and a half uh this replenishment potion actually useful he doesn't use it right now though because you know he knows he has to tp home anyway he has to tp home if he uh, engages the night of right now because the Night Elf, he will have Master Bears. And Happy doesn't have the orb yet. He doesn't have Backpack. He doesn't have... Oh, here come the ghouls. Did he scout this? When did he scout this? Maybe Skeleton scouted it. He's going for it with the ghouls. There's a uh, Warsome Battle Drums for some Command Aura. The Demon Hunter, can he defend this expansion with the Demon Hunter Naga? Naga's level 3. Yeah, easy peasy, right? The ghouls are already retreating, they realize they're too late. Go home, ghouls. You as well, Mr. Ghouly Ghouly. There's a boneyard. Oh, Ghouly Ghouly is going down, guys. Where? Okay, well. Devna is almost level 4. The Lich here almost level 3. That's pretty nice. Death Knight level 4, Lich level 3, he has Aura, he has the Lich, he has Nova, level 2 Nova. Oh! Okay, he reveals the main base, he sees the Boneyard, he sees the Dragon. With this uh, Crystal Ball, not an amazing item, he will get level 4 Demon Hunter though. Hey, little piggy over there, that's nice. Flute for Accuracy by the way, also pretty good here. So these fiends do plus 20% damage, hello. Plus 6 damage. Maybe should get some attack upgrades for his fiends. Instead of going over 50. Well, with Frostworm he goes over 50. But he could cancel this fiend, stay under 50. But, you know, he's not going to do that. Because he knows he has a timing to hit. And not uh, not go for the attack upgrades. He had, needs to hit this timing before this expansion pays off. He needs to kill it. He needs to attack it. He needs to destroy. He needs to destroy Foggy. Foggy is screaming here with Demon Dread and Naga. This Murloc is going down. Meow. Meow. 
the turtle going down. We have a backpack here, by the way, for the, on the dryads, on the bears, on the archers, everything. Uh, what do we get here? Parry up. Okay. Demon tree. Okay. Oh, he gives an item to the Naga circlet. Okay. Gives a parry to the demon tree. He has now 925 hit points. So, do we have hippos? We have hippos. I saw a hippo, right? Yeah, we have hippos. He's building hippos. So, expansion, hippos, Naga. Naga's level 4. Okay, if this was a panda, guys, if this was a panda, I think, like, Foggy would be in fine shape. Foggy would be winning this game. But with the Naga, I fear for Foggy's life, guys. Definitely level 4, at least level 3. We're gonna get an Alchemist, I guess? Oh. What did he just unsummon? A player's forces are I don't know. <laughs> what building was that? Okay, I don't know. He unsummoned the building. Whoa! Mr. Shade goes down. Wait, was Sacrificial Pit? Oh, it was a Sacrificial Pit. But now he lost his Shade, so... Uh, he won't have a Shade anymore either. How many hippos do we have? We're three fiends. Not enough hippos yet. Four hippos. We'll get five hippos. I think he needs at least six here to do some serious damage. We have the Tinker. Okay. No Alchemist, guys. No Alchemist. Okay, the Tinker standard. Uh, the hippos get webbed. The Fosmer in the back. Okay, he's gonna fight against this uh, this hippo. There's only one hippo. This uh, Fosmer takes so much damage from this hippo. The hippo with the roar does so much damage to coil on the first room though. Meanwhile, the dry just uh, also won this uh, first room. The death knight mana burns. The death, uh, I mean, the demon of the mana burns. Death knight demons are so low on hit points. The dry is still dying. The naga, she's just doing, you know, her naga stuff. And this mm, coil on the lich here. Bears are dying. Doesn't look that good for Foggy, does it? Uh, this bear is a lot in a lot of pain. He dies. There's not a pocket factory. This pocket factory is going to destroy everything, including the trees. The trees, uh, ancient of war, tree of life. There's another hippo. Okay, the hippo will get webbed. And look, the clock or goblins might even kill the hippo. The demons are now going for the frost worm. Coil on the frost worm. That means the frost worm survives. There's a lich. Uh, we've got mana bird and fork lightning. But the frost worm is, uh, you know, slowing down this demon hunter. And the naga is in trouble a little bit. No, not enough trouble for the naga. So she survives. This uh, ancient war is up I don't know why exactly. Like, what his plans are. Oh, he's retreating. Okay. Demon Hunter here under attack. The Naga, does she have staff? She does have staff, so you can staff out the Demon Hunter. But the Naga cannot be staffed out after she staffs out the Demon Hunter because, you know, there's no one to staff her out. The Dryads cannot staff her out, even though they have backpack. This Ancient War is dead, guys. It takes so much magic damage when he's uprooted. Uh, Death Knight is level 5. And this Tree of Life takes a bit of damage. Nice. Fork Lining, these ghouls, very low on hit points. You know, just move them into the back, let them heal uh, up a little bit. Demon Hunter gets coiled. He has an anti-magic shell potion, so he can dodge the coil if he's really uh, good at this game. And it's foggy. Yes, he's really good at this game. Of course he can do that. This uh, tree takes a bit of damage. His first one takes a bit of damage. The first one survives. There's a mana bird. 69 mana bird on the death knight. He used the anti-magic shell, but... Uh, there was nothing magic that was attacking him. Oh, the list is a unit and he knows us. And the demons are now gets uh, all mana bird are right in the face of the lich. Lich does they have info. No, lich is going to die. Whoa, demon hunter gets staffed out. He's still alive. So is he gonna buy rebuy the lich? Yeah, he's gonna rebuy the lich. The fossil room is going home. Can Foggy defend here? So far it's looking good. Like I mean, it looks like Foggy after killing the lich, it looks like he's just barely holding on. Right? You see, look at the splice. 55 against 53. How many hippos do we have? He's building one hippo. Happy just, uh, you know, selling uh, his altar, selling his cigarettes that are no longer used. The one, the Nerubian Tower, that gives more money. Buy some more items. Doesn't sell a script yet because he still wants to build more fiends. Doesn't sell his boneyard because he might build more frost worms. Happy is staying under 50. I mean, it says 55, but with the cigarettes he sold, he is no longer building units. To go above 50 in the future. So if he loses some units, he can only rebuild enough units to be at 50. Tinker's level 2, the Lich level 4, the Death Knight has an info potion now. And here he comes, guys, here he comes. Demon to level 4, Naga level 4. Here comes Happy. Happy 53 supply, Foggy 63. This hippo has a web. The Demon to in the front, going for this uh, Pocket Factory. Pocket Factory goes down, there's a roar. This bear taking so much damage. Ooh, the bear. 
He's still alive. I mean, this ghoul is also still alive. He's dry, though. She's dead. Ah! Do you want to fight against the first room? He has first armor. And these bears are so dead, guys. Look at these bears. They're dying so fast. And this hippo just got webbed. And this first room just staying alive. Uh, Foggy, man. What can he do here? He has two hippos over there. Flank attack position. Demon Hunter, hello! She gets stopped at 93 hit points. Pretty low hit points. Happy 51 supply. Foggy at 50. Tree of Life taking so much damage here. Uh, he's still mining though. There's a detonate. The uh, Naga fork lining on the first room. Okay. She has a lot of uh, IQ. 42 intelligence, by the way, on the Naga. She's so smart. She's uh, 100 man out of 630. This uh, Demon Hunter takes a bit of damage. Here comes the flank attack with the hippos. But the hippo. Uh, Hippos got wept, and the destroyer is still in there. There is a Lich uh, and the Death Knight. Uh, Lich, I mean, and the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter gets stuffed out. Uh, Death Knight coils the Lich. He has still more mana. He makes sure his Death Knight is in the back so he doesn't get mana burned. Like, this mana on these coils are so important. Uh, level three, 3 coils now, so. Here comes the Demon Hunter again. And again, he moves to the Death Knight back into the back. This Lich is uh, doing just fine. Lich has an Info Potion, and we have coils here in the back. At least uh, one. Oh, he wants that mana burn. He wants it. But the Death Knight just runs away. Very smart by the Death Knight. Just running away. Oh, but he gets mana burned. Could have coiled there. I mean, but he didn't. Could have coiled the Demon to there is what I'm trying to say. For uh, a nice uh, 210 damage. The bear now rejuvenating. But while the Destroyer is all the way over there. So he does have this spell for the bear. And these, these uh, fiends are just dying against the bears. But he's just working on this Demon Hunter. But the Naga... She wants to save Mr. Demon Hunter, she can't. The coil kills the Demon Hunter. And now the Naga is level 5 though. And the Fiend goes down, he eats it with the Lich. And now he Nova's this good, this little girly girl. And this girly girl Naga is gonna GG out before she dies. 1-0 for Happy. Uh, we have an Altar here, Altar and an Ancient of War. Of course we see a normal Demon Hunter or Warden. This map, uh, I assume it's gonna be Demon Hunter. Here we have an Altar and a Crypt and a Ziggurat. Nice. Does Foggy have any chances in this final? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not gonna say they're big. I'm not gonna say, you know, even winning one map is gonna be, you know, difficult, but there are chances, guys. Foggy has won before against Happy. There's Death Knight and the Ghouls. Here we have a Demon Hunter and some Archers. Your hair... Your hair are stressed, XD. <laughs> actually, it looks pretty weird, actually. Hello. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, well, uh, well, well, well. Fish oil enemas are superior to fish oil pills for absorbing... Omega-3. Sure. No, I don't believe you because in the fish oil pill, you know, it's just oil, right? It's just this oil that I've done there put in a capsule It's the exact same thing. This ancient word is hitting this renegade wizard in the face. He picks up a top of IQ He's a bit smarter now. He has 17 IQ he's Building some more wisps. There's an ancient of wonders Hey, can oh, he does the same thing as last game Cancel the Ancient of Wonders so you can go to 21 supply. If you look at uh, Foggy's supply here at the bottom right, the move will just finished, but he was 21 out of 20 supply. I'm not sure if that's worth it to uh, build a move, though. You lose, how much do you lose? Don't you lose like 25%? That is 45 gold and 10 lumber. Just to get your wisp out a little bit faster? I feel like it's not worth it, but because of that you can tech faster. I mean, Foggy, I guess he did the math. He's like, yeah, it's probably worth it. So maybe it's worth it, guys. The faster tech might make the difference. Okay, well, or you could just get one wisp less and then tech just as fast. But then you have less wisps and the wisp cannot get the lumber. Uh, the Demon Hunter, though, he wants his ghoul. Here comes the wisp. Here comes the wisp. And you see that is what is that a wisp. The, uh, the ghoul here, he wants his ghoul before he TPs out. He doesn't get a ghoul, guys. Does he get this ghoul? Oh, he might. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He gets a ghoul. No, he doesn't get a ghoul. I thought it was enough. Two hit points. Ghoul survives, guys. Nice here by Happy. Typical Happy. Saving all his ghouls with like minimal hit points. Not losing anything. Forcing that TP on this Demon Hunter. It happens every game. 
There's another archer. It's like standard, guys. It's standard. If you're undead and you play against Night Elf and you don't get this Demon Hunter standard every game, you have to learn, guys. You have to learn from Happy. A player's forces are under attack. Here. Here's the Death Knight. He's going for this Renegade Wizard. Hi, Chaco. Hello, Zletko. Hello. This guy, does he buy anything? No, Undead doesn't buy anything. Renegade Wizard dead. Rope of the Magi, pretty good. Actually, all these items pretty good for the Lich, guys. Plus 9 IQ, plus uh, 9 damage, of course, for the Lich. And Claws of Haste means the Lich attacks a bit faster. What is this? Slippers of Agility, pretty good for the Demon Hunter. He has the boots again, no staff, because he's confident in not getting surrounded with the boots. There goes Sheepy. Death Knight is out of mana, even though he has 27 IQ. Okay, well, what do we have here? Almost tier 2, graveyard going up, and just the same timing as last game. Make sure the graveyard goes up at the same time the Necropolis is a house of the dead, so you can build a slaughterhouse. You do need a necro uh, graveyard for the slaughterhouse. You need haunted... Uh... Come on, Chaco. You need a house of the dead as well for the slaughterhouse. Swisp is going down. Uh, it's a skeleton. Come on, Chaco, stop using the wrong words. I just did it like five times in a row. <laughs> a player's force is <laughs> this captain here takes a bit of damage. There's a panda. There's another ghoul. Firebrand, level two. Baron Frostfell, level two. Coil on the ghoul. There goes the stack. He's dead. Does he turn into skeletons? Yes. At least he's fighting now for the dead army. Oh, he does go panda this game. I love the panda guys in this matchup. I love him. I think he's so much better than the Naga. Uh, there's a haze. It also means I don't have to do, do any work on my overlay. Because it knows the panda is for Night Elf. This archer taking a bit of damage. He's gonna drink some juice. There's some juice in the back. Archer drinks the juice, guys. There's an Angel of Lords going up. This is a Lich. That's a Lich. There's a Slaughterhouse. What a game. What a game. A five hit point skeleton in your base. Another one, actually. Wow. Can uh, One Archer can kill them both pretty easily. And that's what he does. He sends one Archer to kill them. That is, of course, uh, 24 XP. He gets this one, this one. Oh wait, where's the other one? I don't know, but we have uh, something over here. Haze, he went Haze first. He doesn't have Breath of Fire yet. This Demon Hunter is not level 3 yet. This Slippered Man, I... I just want to pick it up myself. He doesn't want to take the time to walk back home to pick up the Slippers. I understand, but it's just... It's just triggering me. The Panda makes sure he gets uh, the kill on the Cobalt. Here's the Lich, there he is. There's Sacrificial Pit. He needs it for the Frost Worms, the Boneyard. Does he have an Acolyte, a 6 Acolyte? For Shade? Not at the moment. Panda creeping over here. Team Hunter over... Uh, he's over here, he's just uh, doing his stuffs. Just doing his stuffs, guys. Panda picks up some items. Man of Intelligence means he's so smart now. 19 IQ. Not as smart as the other heroes in this game, but... Compared to the uh, other Pandas... Wait, is Lich just creeping there? This ghoul's pretty hurt, guys. This try just wants to kill this ghoul. The demon gets Nova, but you know, who cares? This ghoul. Uh, oh, he kills his own ghoul. Make sure it doesn't give away XP. The panda's level 2 now, though. This ghoul takes a lot of damage as well. This dry just, just throwing spears at him. And I think it's time for Happy to creep this creep camp. Happy is almost at uh, Black Citadel. He's building some more fiends, some statues. Bla uh, boneyard over here, of course. Happy's packed his shield. Oh, that's nice. At least now, look at these items. Plus 9 IQ, 29 IQ, and attacks very fast. Fast, actually, but, you know, it's almost the same. Here's the Angel of War, here's the expansion. Slippers is still over there. He's almost at 3 of eternity. He's getting bears. There's the expansion, Chan. And here's the Boneyard. Isn't that nice? That's nice. The Death Knight, he has some Serpent words going for this. Renegade Wizard, nice Nova on the Wizard. Let's see what item he gets there. What item did we get here? Info potion, pretty good. Yeah, 15 seconds off. It's really good on Demon Hunter specifically in this matchup.
because you uh, Demeter is always focused first and with this info potion you just can stay in the fight for 50 more seconds which means 15 seconds of mana burns 50 seconds of pure damage from the demon hunter is just so insanely good the demon hunter the panda going for the sasquatch let's see what the item he gets sensory words or replenishment potion okay 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 so it was a shitty item you might as well sell it really you have bears now at 75 gold you might have uh, better use for the 75 gold there's a tome of strength does a panda pick it up no demon hunter picks it up okay that's fine as a ball this may be even better. There goes Sasquatch. We have a Planet Potion here for Happy as well. What I am. Uh, was it already crept? I guess uh, it was already crept earlier. There was that uh, Rope of Magi earlier, I believe. And then here you got the Lion Horn of Stormwind. Which is not amazing. Especially since a lot of the DPS comes from like the Breath of Fire, right? Against which the lion horn doesn't protect you. There's second fiend. We have some ghouls over here. We have an. Uh, for a second, I was like, "This is the frostworm." He got hexed. Uh, he got polymorphed already, or hexed, or whatever. No, it's not a frostworm, guys. This is just a neutral sheep just flying around. It's not a polymorph frostworm. Uh, there's a web, and here is that frostworm. This guy's going. Oh, there's a hippo, John. He's building hippos. This is something we still see Foggy do. For a while, this was meta. For a while, these hippos were meta. So, I don't dislike it. I'm just saying, it, it seems like it's not really meta anymore. I don't know if Moon, how Moon plays this matchup. Because we don't see Moon th that often. On leather. Against a good and dead. But I know Life, he just doesn't play hippos anymore. He just plays Mass, Ancient of Lores. But uh, Foggy, he likes his hippos. He plays it every game. The problem is though, Foggy uh, usually loses, so... There's slippers of agility. Agility. These wisps are nice. There's another wisp. So we have a nice 54 supply here for Foggy. Oh, we have Alchemist third again here for Happy. That's nice. Happy at 57 supply, Foggy at 54. He... He forgot to mana burn her ass this game, by the way. Kappa. So it's gonna be difficult to defend this. <laughs> this is gonna be extremely difficult. I used the 50 second info potion immediately just so he cannot be uh, slowed and he can just use the full 15 seconds of mana burn harassment. Uh, make sure you don't forget to mana burn. Hello. There's a mana burn on the alchemist. These uh, archers and drides pulling out the ghouls here. The frostworm is doing just fine. The one bear is dead. This other bear still alive. Uh, Lich here. Lich. Hello. Lich has a coil. Okay. And an info potion. This bear is almost dead here for Foggy. Oh, he's dead. This hippo is uh, almost dead. Happy's army is just too gigantic. It's too strong. And this demon hunter is going to fall. And I think Foggy is dead. And why is he dead? Why? Uh, like some of you are like, how why is Foggy just dead? Like Foggy just did almost everything right. And yeah, the keyword here is almost right. But there was one thing. Which he does every game, or he doesn't do every game. Which means he just loses every game. And that's just that mana burn her ass. We have some wisps here. We have a, a, a hunter's hole, angel of war. So he's, he's going huntresses. He's going huntresses, guys. He's going huntresses. The demon hunter working on the ghoul. This ghoul takes some damage. There's the aura. The ghoul will be fine. The ghoul is moving fast. Demon Hunter. He attacks the ghoul again. He attacks the Death Knight. To win first happy, you need to be sad. Hmm. Well, this Demon Hunter is now creeping, of course, because we did a Hunter's build instead of an Archer build. So the Death Knight is not much harassment that he can do. Because he's being harassed by Demon Hunter instead of the other way around. There's a ghoul over there scouting for expansions. Very smart. Oh, Demon Hunter surrounded. Typical. Deep is out immediately. Uh, Hunters, there's the first one. The first Hunters is out. Do we have dust? Nope. But he might buy dust, guys. He might buy it. 
Team Hunter has no items. Hunters has uh, no items, no backpack. So, of course, no items on the Hunters. Hey, finds expansion. Cancelled immediately. This ghoul, man. Perfect scouting here by Happy. This no Warden is going down. This uh, no Overseer. He wants his uh, ghoul, but the ghoul runs so fast. Oh, this Hunters almost gets surrounded, but she's too fast as well. Oh, this no man. He really wants his ghoul. I understand his feelings. Like, he wants some XP as well. He never gets any kills. So he sees that low hit point cool and just wants it. There's the dust now. The Demon Hunter still doesn't have staff or boots. Expansion going back up. The cool is no longer there. There's a wisp in the tree over there. That's nice. That's so nice. There's a Ultra Vision. There's another Huntress. More Huntresses. Two Huntresses is out already. Death Knight, Baron Bloodbane. Level 1, Death Knight with Aura. Skeleton here uh, being hunted by the Demon Hunter. And the Death Knight and the Ghouls go for this little Gnoll. He needs uh, 84 more XP for level 2. Synthweller, 0 XP. Isn't that nice? That is pretty nice. A player's forces are under attack. A player's forces are under attack. There's Gnoll fighting against the Skeleton. Three hunters is here working on this on this ghoul. There's a demon hunter gonna help out. Still no boots here on the demon hunter because I guess uh, with hunters you don't need the boots. The hunters have the movement speed. You won't get surrounded anymore with three hunters here protecting your demon hunter. So uh, yeah, I guess you can save 250 gold instead. Invest that 250 gold in the tree of life, build the angel of lore and the angel of wonders. Death Knight level one still. What is this cool? The skeleton scouting for? I don't think he can reach this expansion. It's gonna expire, guys. Nice mana burn. Nice mana burn. Well, we have some more uh, ghouls being built here. This wisp just sitting in the tree still. Look at this tree, guys. This wisp, so hard to see. He wants his Null. The Null that wanted to uh, kill his, no his ghoul is gonna take revenge on the Null. Well, I guess it was uh, him in the first place that attacked the Null. But still, this Null is just sleeping. It's like, oh, you guys again. I remember you guys. And he's just flailing at his skeleton. He's like, I'll kill you, skeleton. I'll get this 12 XP. Skeleton is like, no, I don't wanna die. And he doesn't die. There goes the Null. He dies. Level 2 Death Knight now with a ring of protection. Here comes the panda and the huntresses. Gonna creep. With this expansion, fairly very early expansion, by the way, it's a bit cheesy because uh, there, there are counterplays. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe are there counterplays? We'll see. There goes a null. Is that a null? Oh, demon are just uh, saying hello. I still have zero XP. I want some XP as well. Can I get a null warden? I just mana burn him. No, not this one. This other one. Oh, the cools just surround him. Wow. And there's nothing to save him. There's no staff. There's no... Uh... Okay, there's a mana burn on Death Knight. There's no TP. There's no info potion. There's just a dead demon hunter. Wow, dead synth weather. Of course, level 1 demon hunter will be back in 36 seconds. That's nice. Panda's level 2. There's a feed. Does he get some more statues? He kills his null. Ma Death Knight is almost level 3, guys. Let's see level 1. That's also pretty nice. And the panda here with some dryads. He's building more dryads. Oh, is, is this one of those mass dryads builds? Where you just mass dryads and you don't go bears? I'm not a big fan of those builds either. There's a Berserker here. He's just standing here. I like the Berserker, of course. He's so strong. Death Knight here kills this uh, guy. Boots of Quad the last. Not amazing. He gives it to the Lich. There's a Berserker Strength. Uh, not Berserker Strength. Hello, Chuckle. Ghoul Frenzy. Statues. No Sacrificial Pit was made this game because, you know, he knows. He knows. He knows there's not going to be bears, so he doesn't go for Frostworms. Right? Makes sense. Makes so much sense. Rock Golem here is surrounded by ghouls. Definitely level 3. He's creeping the Lich. Belt of Giant Strength. Eh. 
Oh, but look who's here. There's a panda. Level 3 panda. Level 1 <laughs> demon hunter. With still 0 XP. But, uh, I like this nice creep check. A TP out here by Happy. Haze, Breath of Fire. One ghoul goes down and the feed dies as well. 50 XP goes to the demon hunter and 50 to the panda, of course. Even though he did all the hard work, the demon hunter is just leeching that XP from the panda's hard work. What is this? Acolyte? Okay, an acolyte. Remember, he went for an expansion against Sonic on this map. Happy did. He has a lot of ghouls, not any fiends yet, really. He, I mean, he had one, but he died. This here takes a mana burn, 50 mana mana burn. And is this the comeback, guys? Is this the comeback we're, we've been waiting for? Foggy. Look how strong he is. Are we gonna see a counter expansion here? This does look like that's what he's intending to do here. Oh, there's Tree of Eternity. Eventually, he will go bears. There's Coil on this guy, Nova on that guy. This Berserker, oh, this Peon uh, Ghoul guy goes down. This Ghoul guy, also down. The Berserker gets staffed out, of course. The Dryad, does he die? Uh, does she die? She doesn't die. Hello, the Ghouls cannot catch her. She's too fast. Death oh, finally, a Dryad dies. Three Ghouls already dead, and now one Dryad is dead. And these Ghouls here, very low hit points as well. This Ghoul. Uh, also, that info potion used on uh, level 1 demon hunter. Another dry does go down. And the ghouls are just being hunted. That's just what Foggy's doing. Just hunting down the ghouls. Just who cares about the heroes, the statues, the fiends. Just get the ghouls. And, I mean, the demons are doing just fine. Takes a bit of damage. There's staff on the panda. I can always save the demon hunter. If the coil is in the air, he will staff him. There's Mr. Berserker again. He was staffed home earlier. So many moon juice here. Hello. Most of these are, or some of these are full. And now it's expansion time, guys. Look at this Acolyte. He's, uh, he's been ready for this his entire life. He's like, oh, finally! Expansion for Undead. Nice! We did his last towards Meadows as well. There he goes. Lich here, level 2. Beautiful. Killing this Ogre Warrior. That's uh, interesting. Ogre Magi. Meh. Okay, Pen of Energy. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Hello, Mr. Abomination. There's another Fiend. Is he at 50 yet? Happy is at 48. Foggy is 57. He went over 50. He's just creeping with the panda. Is he getting bears? Yeah. Bears. Tree of Eternity. No hippos. Is this hippo building? No. This is Ancient of War. Okay. No hippos yet. But of course, there's no frost worms yet. I mean, there might be destroyers pretty soon. But against destroyers, hippos are not like necessary. They're the upgrades. Here is this bear. He's a adept bear. And the panda. There's no rejuvenation yet. Just a haunted gold mine going up. This Tinker with a Tinker third again. Hello. Tinker third again, guys. Panda is on his level four. Level four panda. Level two demon hunter. That's the way to play this game, guys. The town is under siege. This expansion going up. Does he have more Acolytes building? Yeah. The Death Knight, 281 mana. Lich, 360 mana at the moment. Tinker plays down Pocket Factory. But here comes Foggy with two bears, some Huntresses, some Dryads, and a level 4 Panda. With also Scourge Bone Chimes. Since no, uh, no Frost Worms. Oh, uh, Berserker goes down. Uh, these bears will do quite a lot of damage. And they will heal quite a lot of damage as well. Or healing uh, hit points, I guess. Uh, there goes the Hunter, the 50 mana mana bird. Demon Tur has entered by the shell, but that law is so low, it gets staffed out, of course. The Panda has so much hit points, he's gonna be just fine. He's just working on his fiends with the bears. There's a destroyer here as well. Uh, That's a dry dying with some more dries here, being micro out. There's Breath of Fire on this. Uh, I think you only had like one, maybe two fiends there. That was not the best Breath of Fire, but you know, sometimes you need to just kill those fiends. Is the Demon Hunter back yet? What is he doing here? Hello. Demon Hunter is coming back. Panda used the Info Potion. I'm not sure if he dodged that coil or uh, if he took the damage and then Info Potion. There goes another dry. He's a, he's a Lich. Uh, yeah, the Lich is a Fiend. Lich now has mana, guys. And these bears are going down. Is Foggy going down, though? Is Foggy going down or are just the bears going down? Well, this army still looks quite intimidating. The Demon Hunter still doesn't have level 2 mana burn. 
Uh, not that he needs it right now. Actually, kind of would be nice. But what I'm saying is Foggy is in trouble. That's what I'm saying. Happy has supply advantage. Usually, if a dad has a supply advantage, you're screwed. He's killing wisps. Uh, here come the bears. There's rejuvenation on some of these units. And, I mean, there's a haste breath of fire. This fiend is Michael back, but the panda, he wants him. The demon hunter gets it, though. The demon hunter is so close to level 3 now. This hip, this, uh, this, this fiend is next. He eats the fiend. There goes the fiend. So can the panda get level 5? Demon hunter is level 3. That's a major milestone, that's for sure. And he stops on the demon hunter. Look at the happy, uh, just retreating here. Foggy doesn't give up yet. Foggy, with the demon hunter coming back, can defend his expansion. Sure, he uh, had to detonate some wisps. The Tinker, uh-oh! Blocked by the sheep even. The sheep and the bears working together. Who would have thought that? Demon Hunter Sin Dweller, level 3. Now, and the panda. Is he close to level 5? He's close to level 5. It's time for Banshees. No, it's time for Frostworms. Okay. Uh, I thought it was time for Banshees. Because A, he has an expansion. And B, we have a level 5 panda here in the moment. A player's forces are under but instead he goes for the Frostworms. Sure, Frostworms do great against bears. But the Banshees, they do great against the Bears and against the Panda. This Dryad here takes a bit of damage. So happy at 55 supply. Foggy is back in the supply lead, 59. But uh, what item is that? Ring of Protection plus 2, he dropped it for a Panda of Mana. Panda has so much mana now, but he needs to uh, mana up. The Ring of Protection, why did he leave it behind when Demon Hunter has an empty slot? It's pretty good item in this matchup. The Demon Hunter is constantly focused. The Ring of Protection, not bad. Panda isn't even level 5. He needs to, uh, I mean, kill these guys or something? Just get level 5, Panda. And just mana up. Imagine some level 3 Breath of Fires on these units. Also, uh, I mean, these units are beautiful. It's also relevant here. Tinker's back. The Tinker is back, guys. World. The panda is almost level 5. He will hit level 5 during this fight. There's a full swarm. There's the end of my shell. 77 mana burn on the lich. Uh, the bears, of course, are clumped up, so they all are slowed by the full swarm and the novas. Uh, does he go for this uh, pocket factory, maybe? The bears should have gone for it. It's so easy to kill. This bear is dead. Uh, the bears are going for this tinker. Nice breath of fire. Uh, hello, pocket factory. Can someone please kill it? It does so much damage. This full swarm is being killed by a demon hunter and some dryads. Dryads are dying as well, left and right, but the uh, Fosworm will survive. He's over the trees now. Hello, Dryads. You're too late. Even with the reveal, you cannot get the guy. Uh, there's another Dryad goes down. This bear is going down. Oh, stopped out the bear. This bear is still killing Clockwork Goblins instead of Pocket Factory. Hello. The Demon Hunter here is doing just fine. Info Potion was used on the Lich because he was being focused. Look at the Panda. Not a single kill with this entire fight. Still not level 5. He's just losing drives, bears, and everything, but he's not killing anything. The statue, maybe. The statue will give him level 5. And is that level 5? Wait, was it Panda out of range? I guess the Panda was out of range there to get XP, and the Demon Hunter was in range, even though they were pretty close to each other. Uh, there's a nice mana burn, 31 mana burn on the Tinker. The statue goes down. And there's a level 5. He gets a ghoul kill. Level 5 Panda, but he's out of mana now. He actually still, in the end, uh, forced Happy bat back, but... That's because Happy saved all his units with like 5 hit points. Are under there are some coils on these units. There's another mana potion. And the Demon Hunter is just uh, doing his thing. There's the Panda. Now the Panda with mana is back. He just uses all his mana on like this one fossil room. And maybe this Fiend got hit as well. The Triad goes go down. The Lich is level 4. He's no longer uh, invulnerable. So the Demon Hunter just... Right clicking him, the Scourge Bone Chap is also very, very nice here. With the fire, he dodges with the Info Potion, there's a coil. Uh, the Death Knight, you know, the Death Knight takes some damage. Phosphor is full hit points here. Here comes the bears. Do they have mana for reduced for nations? This one has. And another one. Oh, he has so many bears just moving in. Hello, five bears show up out of nowhere. And just uh, rejuvenate everything. Everything back to like full hit points. There's no destroyer close by to just... Dispel those bears, those rejuvenations, I mean. This lich here is taking a bit of damage. Do we have coil? We have coil, but it's on cooldown. Oh, okay, there's a coil. Saves the lich at like five hit points. There's the, the, here are the destroyers. Hello. 
And uh, two Phosphorms as well. They're going for the Demon Dry. Not the Bears, okay? That's uh, your choice. But I'm just saying, you know, this, uh, this Death Knight is pretty low. This Phosphorum is pretty low. This Tinker is pretty low. The, this this Dry is pretty low. The Gold is chopping down trees. And the Dry dies. The Lich oh, Lichy. Lichy still alive. Where's the Coil? There's no mana for Coil, but the Lich doesn't need it. He buys Healing Potion. And the Tinker fell. The Destroyers just killing this Bears now. The Phosphorum as well. TP out here by Foggy. He almost killed a hero other than the Tinker. I mean, he killed the Tinker. <laughs> and he killed all the Eclites here with these bears. He lost one bear here, though. So that was pretty nice. And, you know, things are pretty nice here. What a game. Finally, you have a, a good game, guys. A good game. The Death Knight kills the bear. We have Happy 64 supply. Foggy 67. Panda, is he going to hit level 6 this game? Mm, uh, maybe. Demon Hunter just barely level 4. This Death Knight just creeping. He was level 5, of course. There's three Flush Worms now. Hello. F and we uh, we have a lot of dries, though. We have seven dries. Do we get hippos yet? At this point, hippos would be good because there's so many Flush Worms and so few fiends. Only two fiends. Three Flush Worms and two destroyers. He's pulling another fiend. Are under there's a panda. Also, the fiends are uh, not as strong against this panda, of course. It was full mana now, 655 mana. Okay, here comes Foggy, guys. Here we get... Um, what did we get? Was the item still there? Ring of Protection plus 4, okay. Uh, this expansion is gone, guys. There's no Acolytes even in the first place. Happy back to one base. One base happy. Just creeping. Just getting a level 5 Lich. Death Knight is level 5. Lich is gonna hit level 5. Okay, maybe not. This stupid aura again. Lionhorn of Stormwind. He got it earlier as well. He sold it. Now he gets it again. And he will have to TP home. Because there's a panda. Uh, panda. Oh, we have Foss Worms with Foss Armors. Uh, where's the death? Demon Hunter? Oh, there it is. 62 mana burden on the Tinker, so no pocket factories. Ah! One right already dead. The demons are just fighting uh, Foss Worms. These bears are going to die very fast, but... You know, it's mostly Drys and Pandas here that do the damage. This bear even fighting Clockwork Goblins, which is not really what you want to be fighting. Pocket Factory in the back here. There's Phosphor and very low hit points. This bear is going down. The Demon Hunter used the Info Potion. The Lich takes a coil. He's still alive. Mana Bird on the Death Knight, but Demon Hunter is in trouble now. Do we have uh, staff? Okay, he's staff at home. And the Demon Hunter will probably staff back soon. Yeah, I think he just gave him the staff teleportation from the Panda to the Demon Hunter. And the Demon Hunter will be back here. This bear is still alive. There's a the Demon Hunter again. He has a TP as well. Breath of Fire, the statues. Hello, four mana mana burn on the statue is uh, not the best mana burn I've seen in my life. But not the worst either. I mean, I've seen lower than that. Uh, so I guess he can take pride in that. Uh, Foggy, by the way, there's no reason to attack for him since he has expansion and Happy does not. But oh well, he must have his reasons. TP's out. He TP's out. Wow, one drive is dead. And he gets a free expansion as well, right? Of course, Happy could build an expansion as well again, but his expansions are just so vulnerable. Foggy down to 50 supply. Happy at 68. Look at these bodies, by the way. Look at these bodies. You see any undead bodies? Yeah, we see like one fiend. Besides that, only dryads and bears here. These bodies are dryads and these are bears. Literally only one undead body. What the fuck? The Phosphorms and Destroyers didn't die either. I don't think Foggy should have fought there. The moment he's a uh, happy TP in, just TP out. If you trade a TP, that's good. If you have an expansion and your opponent does not, just trade TPs. Ooh, ring of protection. Hello, Tinker takes it. <laughs> well, Foggy, of course, going for this creep camp so he can plant down his tree of eternity over there. He does have Nature's Blessing. Uh, I should probably solo creep with the demon hunter. No reason really to, for the panda to be here. So the panda moves away. 
This is Tome of Strength, pretty good. Panda of Energy? Hello, Panda, you want more mana? <laughs> you want more mana, Panda? Uh, hello, and the magic potion. Don't give it to Happy. Hello. The tome is as well. Okay, that's nice. The panda does have a staff. He's just going for the base race, guys. With this panda, that makes sense. Let's go for the base race. Demons are gonna creep to level 5. Wisp there and trees. Uh oh, tree of eternity in a bit of trouble. Three fro ow. Three frost worms and uh, two destroyers against the tree of eternity. Uh, he roots. No, he doesn't root. He's just dead. Phew, phew. Team Hunter is his level 5. No, not yet. Okay, Foggy. He's not gonna win this fight. Does he have TP? He doesn't. Okay, good luck, Foggy. Good luck. Everyone in my chat wishes you good luck. There goes the Dryad. These two uh, statues were alone hit points. The Demon Hunter here takes a bit of damage. There's staff on the panda. I can staff on Demon Hunter, but the tree of eternity's death, so you get staffed over there. Uh, Breath of Fire here on these Frost Worms. There is the staff. The Demon Hunter is now all the way over there. Panda here is running for his life because he doesn't want to die. Like the Demon Hunter almost did. This Abomination just killed the Dryad. The Fiend as well, trying to kill Dryad. The panda wants his end. Wait, where's the end of magic potion? I thought it was still lying over there. Oh, the Death Knight has it! Anti-magic potion on the Death Knight. He kills the panda. And, uh, you know, there's a coil. And this is a different anti-magic than the Banshees give you. If you use this one, you cannot be mana burned. Not like the, um, the, man the Banshee anti-magic shell. You still can be mana burned. You still lose mana. You don't lose hit points because the anti-magic shell will uh, absorb it. But with this one, you cannot be mana burned. Although, there are dryads that can just dis dispel this anti-magic potion. So he's probably just going to sell it. No? Okay, he's probably <laughs> keeping it just for the memes. Because against dryads, they do have dispel. I mean, these dryads, they hardly use dispel in this matchup anyway. There's frost armor and that's about it. Usually undead doesn't carry skeletons this late in the game. So uh, there's not much to dispel. So the anti-magic uh, shell is going to be easily dispelled. The demons are level 5. The panda was bought back here. Here he is. He's level 5. He's full mana now. Can't foggy halt, guys. He's only 5 supply behind. His heroes are not weak. They're not spaghetti. They're two level 5 heroes. Sure, he's fighting against 5-5-3. Uh, five, five, but, okay, well... Uh, and the Fosprams are the main problem. <laughs> they are so good at killing heroes. Just that permanent slow is just insane. But the Fosprams are just flying over the trees. This team hunter, uh, there goes one dryad. The rest of the dryads here, the two to upgrade the dryads, by the way. But the fiends are zero zero, so the dryads are pretty strong, but they're not strong enough. He goes for the first one, first one going over the trees. Demon hunter gets staffed out. One more dryad does go down. The panda doing just fine. This dryad also dead. Wah! And GG by Foggy. Happy wins three to zero. He wins the cup with the name that I cannot pronounce, and you know. Easy game, easy money. How much money does he win? I'm sure you guys are curious how much money uh, Happy wins because Happy just wins all these cups all the time and he earns so much money. He wins 1512 rubles. This 1.512k rubles, guys.